Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And here I'm going to be talking about the Darwin Project. Now, the Darwin Project is a battle royale. It's kind of class based. Like, there are three classes the jet thing, the grapple, and the weird drone thing. Or jet wing guy myself. Uh, but it's more about survival. Not just surviving other players, but surviving in like the snow and you get your own character you can customize it gender little outfits they're wearing you get fan gifts every while and they have a little a piece of a something uh, that you can add to your outfit you also get ramen or ramen whatever you want to call it little things noodles and that's just your currency you can use that to also get pieces of clothing but yeah it's about surviving this extremely snowy place and just Overall, well, I just heard something insanely disturbing. Um, okay, so I'm not sure what the whole lore of this is, but that doesn't matter, does it? No, not to me at least. Um, so basically, you chop down trees using it, the thing called Darwinium, to do things. Like, you get wood from the trees to build campfires and arrows and, uh, and all sorts of things. And then you get Darwinium to craft abilities like putting down a turret or flying really high into the sky and then of course there's, there's some crafting stuff like you can craft snowballs because your warmth meter if it goes all the way down it just you start dying and snowballs can I think they do a little bit of damage but they uh, they take down the warmth of people, and there are no weapons really. You just got an axe and a bow, and you. There's only ten people in the game, and it's all just like. Like, who is the ultimate survivor? So you see here, I well, pretty much chopped the Darwinium. And you can see my uh, warmth meter is fairly slowly going down. So I want to stay warm, so I'll need to find some trees to chop down. I can see a tree over there. So I go over there and I chop down the tree and then I can use it to a craft like one single arrow and that's not the only thing the wood can do, of course. Later on I'll need to have some wood to spare. Uh, so I can build a campfire and uh, not to not be warm. And then these satellite rooms, rooms, cabins, they have maps and you can see everything on the maps. And the loot chests, it's a good thing when I was playing this, I 
found both a chest and uh, the map. Uh, the chests have things like coffee that can keep you warm and, and all other things. And then you can see other players in the map. So when I do this, I see that there is a guy very close to me. I've just hurtled out of the window to go find them. And when you do, when you break down, chop down trees or break down them, that leaves a trail. So here I investigate a clue. And look, I can see where that person is now for the next 10 seconds or so. And so, I'm getting ready to go fight them. I spot them doing something, and I get I have the jump on them. And so I just they oh they do that, and then it's just a, an axe battle to the death. Lots of clanging right here. Oh. And these get really intense sometimes, like, even when they don't need to be intense. And you see, I picked up their arrow, so now I can just sh shoot them. And then this guy comes in and, and gets them before I can. But to be fair, I probably wasn't gonna get them, I was probably gonna die a horrible death. You know? And so, see, you see, he had he had snowballs, and as I've been so busy fighting that I just completely forget about my warmth, and that makes it not good for me because then I'm taking damage, and they're doing damage, and I die. And so I have to really think about the whole survival aspect of this. It's so important. And then the director, that's, that's a whole thing where they can like give certain players things and nuke parts of the island. It's, uh, it's fantastic. And so there was a prime example of how you could just want to be getting in fights and not be thinking properly about what this is about. It's not about killing the other people, it's about outliving the other people. Ah, and also killing them, but that's not the point. Because People are gonna be just doing everything to you. They're gonna be throwing snowballs at you. They're gonna be shooting you. They're gonna be hitting you with axes. And that's kind of where the Darwinium comes in because then you you can just like you can craft your abilities and stuff among them. Um, pretty much just your abilities, essentially. And so, in this one, I've selected to have blast off and you know add turret. And. Yeah, it can be quite a brutal game. It's just about surviving, you know. So you always need to have be stocked up on on your wood. And I feel like I should have scripted this. But hey, I didn't. That's that's on my, that's me, that's my fault. That's on me. Uh, <laughs> and You can just you can just murder people in here, and you don't have to go straight into a bunch of experienced players. You can fight AI on three different difficulties. That's something I love. 
because it can train you and it is something that will actually maybe get you ready for fighting against players because it's not all about just fighting players and look I got lucky playing this game because I had just dropped I just come in and I found two Darwinian things and a tree and more trees and even I think so if you do want to pick fight remember to have good warmth and go to one of these cabins because they're pretty epic because when I go here I can see the salmon really close and I can just charge them I won't know exactly where they are but I'll know that they're close and that's what I that's what I need to know so they they would have been somewhere around here and and so when playing this I heard them break something just before I broke something and I look up here and there's stuff happening so I can just Oh, I didn't. There is no fall damage, by the way. And so look, I make uh, just one arrow because I need to keep wood for a campfire. I think I tried to do something flashy there. And so look broken Darwinian thing. I see the clue. I investigate and they're not even that far away. And so lucky lucky. They're right there and then they can try and make their escape. Something cool is happening right here. Eight players remaining. So now it's just a desperate attempt of escaping. Hopefully when that'll fail. Oh, and they get axed. There isn't even a kill feed, it's just a hurt feed. People being hurt quite much. And then and then I killed the guy because he had a he had a Fortnite thing. That's why he died. And then I had low things things at a low warmth meter and now oh look now this little robot is forming up because the director just put this on me so I can so now I'm just completely warm for ages how wonderful and then they have they can the, that director and uh, it's just been real nice to this person who was me and now someone saw something that I did and they're following me. And then they see me and then they, they make me unhappy. And so I got my cute little shield, but there wasn't a, just about wasn't enough time to make it, and my body went flying into the sky, and maybe they got a victory. A Fortnite victory royale. Um. So yes, and you can hunt down robotic deer to get stuff like you can get your Darwinium or whatever and if you do enough cool stuff you can get more fans and then they will give you a fan gift that I spoke about earlier and that is about it thank you so much for wasting your time and watching this right here I hope you enjoyed, but you know, who am I kidding? You obviously didn't. 
Uh, let's, let's, let's go away.